Hey everyone, I'm Lindsay Smith here with Skylar Diggins Smith, four time WNBA All Star and three time All WNBA team member and the newest member of the Phoenix Mercury. Sky, thanks for hanging out with us today. Thanks for having me. Are we cousins? Um, maybe Let just know your last name yes. Smith. I know, I know. I'm so glad to have another Smith in the hey, family. You'd think it would be like a pretty common name, but no, I've, I've been holding it down on my own here for a while, right so on, I'm glad right to on. have you. Um, okay, so we kind of want to get to know you a little bit more, um, you know, a little bit basketball wise, a little bit off the court too. So I'm going to start with a hard one. Oh boy. If you had to describe yourself in three words, what three oh, words would man. you use? I would say uh, passionate. I would say competitive, and I guess I would say family. Where does that passion and being competitive come from? My parents, like my parents. My mom is very competitive. I mean, I don't care if our family was playing Monopoly, chess, <laughs> checkers, you know, war game night got serious. It didn't matter. In every avenue, um, we competed in our household. So it just, that, that was what I grew up with, and that's, that's still how I am. And in every avenue, I'm just trying to be the best. If it's a competition, I'm trying to win. And your mom, you talked about family. How has motherhood been for you? Because he just turned one recently, yeah, he did. right? Yes, my son's seven. He just turned one. And, you know, it's been the best year of my life. It's, it's been busy. Um, it's not easy. But I think the hardest things that you do in life are the most gratifying things. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it's been the best. My husband and I, um, you know, we got a little buddy now. You know, he's, yeah. he's my best friend. <laughs> and it's just great coming home to him and now having an example and, and to look up to you know, we're that example to him. So it, it lights a fire. It, it lit a fire underneath me and it just makes my grind change yeah. now that you know that you have somebody, you know, watching your every move. And he's a pretty lucky kid. I mean, I know that you have brought him pretty much everywhere with you. So it's not like Seven's hanging out at home while mom's going to work. Seven's oh, yeah. coming to work with mom. Oh, so yeah. that's got to be kind of a neat experience for him. I mean, I know he's only one, so he probably doesn't realize it now. But as he grows up, I'm sure that's just going to be like he's totally in awe of what yeah, you're able to accomplish. It's crazy because I, I didn't leave the country until I turned 18. Mm -hmm. And he left the country when he was eight months. <laughs> so, you know, just being able to show him the world, different experiences, um, you know, let him come to the gym with me and him being able to see me work out or him spending mm -hmm. time with his dad while his dad is creating, you know. So we hope that he has a multitude of things that he can be good at just because yeah. of, of our experiences. But um yeah, it's, it's awesome being able to, to show him the world and have different life experiences with your son. Can you tell yet? Is he showing any signs of interest in basketball or you art? You know, I'm like, I don't care if my son plays basketball. <laughs> I have like four <laughs> basketballs in his playpen. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's a big guy. Okay. He's a big guy. He's a big kid. And, you know, right now he's very inquisitive, very, you know, we try to, uh, we don't push things. His dad likes soccer, his dad likes other sports, so we'll see. We'll see what he's interested in ultimately, goes. yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to meeting him and I'm sure the X Factor is as well. Parents, if you've been asking yourself, how would I know if my child is a victim of bullying? We've got resources for you at muststopbullying.org. Now, not all children who are bullied exhibit warning signs. However, to find out some signs that may point to a bullying problem, just head to muststopbullying.org. So Sky, you are a fashion icon, whether you want to believe it or not. Okay. I feel like you are. Every time I talk to somebody about you, the first thing that comes to mind after basketball, of course, mm -hmm. is just her style and how amazing you put everything together that you wear. So break, break okay, that down okay. for us. Do you use a stylist? Do you do it to yourself? And where do you draw inspiration? Uh, both. Okay. You know, definitely. Um, I take my inspiration from men and women's fashion. I always describe my style as tomboy chic. Okay. You know, I like to be comfortable. I'm a woman on the move, always on the go, mom on the go. Um, so I like to be comfortable. I like to play with different patterns, um, colors, textures, um, if it's leather. Um, like I said, men and women's style. Um, you know, I just like to mix it up. And mm -hmm. I think it just depends on my mood. And that's why I love fashion. Because, I love that right now about yeah. fashion is oh, that yeah. it's, it's so, it's unisex, basically. Yeah, Guys can wear you, things that were traditionally for women and vice versa. Absolutely. And so um, a, a few style icons that I look up to right now, one of my favorites um, is Zendaya. Okay. Oh, my gosh. She's awesome. She's awesome. She can wear anything. I really like uh, people that go for it, too. Mm -hmm. And um, it's an expression. It's a form of art. So I'm still learning. My style is still evolving into... Um, you know, it's just evolving. You try different things. It might work. It might not. Different combinations. But I think it's just it's just having fun and, um, you know, expressing yourself and being comfortable. Well, speaking of evolving, Puma has evolved a lot over the past few years, and you are a Puma athlete. So what have you liked about the evolution of that brand? Um, it is, Puma is awesome. Um, what I love is how they 
are entering the basketball sector again. Now we're in the basketball sector. That's awesome. But I think they do lifestyle the best. Mm -hmm. and, and just having um, options. I mean, their style, their collaborations that they've, um, Tabitha Simmons, Helly Hansen. Uh, oh, my God, the list goes on and on with the combination. Chinatown Market, um, you know, Sesame Street. It's just like they do collaborations with so many different brands. And um, I just really like how they're unique. And I don't have to... It's a family atmosphere. I don't have to go through nine people. You know, I just like how accessible everybody is, mm -hmm. um, how they welcome me on board, and obviously being the first to sign uh, Puma, male or female, you know, in basketball, that was awesome. So the brand is continuing to evolve, and you know, I'm just happy to be a part of it, whether it's basketball or training or lifestyle, just having the option to show, you know, all the different hats that I wear. I'm not always working out on the floor. Right. But I might be moving around. And I like that I have the options to, if I wanted to go on a lunch date, I could wear this. I could mm -hmm. wear Puma. I wear Puma everywhere because, uh, you know, it's always, they have an outfit for every occasion, you know. So I really like the, the family atmosphere over there. They definitely welcome me with open arms, and I'm excited to see where the brand is going to go. Same. So if you had to pick one or two tips to give us when it comes to styling your outfit, what's your, what's your number one or number two kind of rule of thumb? Oh, man, I would say... I would say find your accent piece that you want. What piece do you want? Is it a blazer? Is it a jean? Do you have a boot that you really like? Find your accent piece, which you're going to work out. And then are you going to coordinate or match? Like I'm matchy matchy. My husband is a coordinator. So do you want to coordinate with different color palettes? Like, or do you want to pop a color? Mm -hmm. So I would say start with that one piece, though, that you want to wear. It's like, okay. I want to wear this shirt. And then, and then build from there. All right, and you said you, you like is, color is that good too, advice? right? <laughs> I think that's good advice. <laughs> you gotta pick whichever one that you like. Your you piece, want to you know, your accent, yeah, your piece. Exactly. Is it your purse? Do you yeah. want to base it off of your purse or your shoes? Or do you have a shirt or do you have a you know a blazer that you wanted to wear? <laughs> so pick your accent piece to start from there. Perfect. I love that. Well, we're really looking forward to getting walk in photos this year. Hey, and you I and being can't able wait. to share oh my those. God. I missed them last year. I know. And a lot of women had some dope walk in photos. I was like, <laughs> I cannot wait for my tunnel photos this year. You don't have to bring some really fire fits oh, here. Yeah. They, everyone's stepping They bring it the up heat. I was going to say, lately. people are bringing the heat. So I think it's good that um, the WNBA and you know different organizations are showcasing that other mm -hmm. side and letting people get to see your, your personal style. And, uh, you know, just us off the floor and another side yeah. of us. So I really like that. Addition. I mean, how have you seen that evolve over the last couple of years since you've been playing basketball? Because since I've been working in basketball, I feel like it has just grown so much of like, it's a whole lifestyle. Sure. Like the NBA, the WNBA, it's it's one yeah. big mix of basketball and it's lifestyle culture. And culture. It's, the, yeah. it's the mecca of pop culture basketball is. It's the mecca of pop culture, everything from uh, fashion to music to, you know, who, uh, what shoes you got on, mm -hmm. you know, it's just what style, what brands you interested in. It's just like, you know, everybody's interested in learning about you and your personal style and things off the floor. So I think it's all about storytelling. Yeah. And I think that, you know, we can continue to do a better job of that in the WNBA, but I like the direction of it's going, showcasing, um, you know, our, our lifestyle off the, off the court. Absolutely. All right, let's talk a little bit of basketball. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that you've been telling us since you came to Phoenix uh, just a couple days ago is that Brittany Griner and Diana Taurasi actually called you and reached out to you personally and, and told you that they wanted you to come play with the Mercury and with them. What were those conversations like and, and what did they mean to you? Well, um, with me and Britt, it was just mostly, uh, we text, but okay. it was, you know, it was just, they wanted me to be a part of it in, in not so many words. Um, and I think it's awesome because in my mind, those are the two, two of the best players that we have in mm -hmm. our league. And so I think it's awesome when they are like, we see um, what you can bring to the table. You know, they are champions. They um, have won on the biggest stages at every level. And so I was, and they were respected around the league for, for the work that they put in. So I think it's awesome when you got the GOAT, you know, hitting you up yeah. like, hey, and, and what better uh, player to learn from? You know, she's, she's been through everything. And, and so to be able to be here, I got to work out with her yesterday and just be a sponge and just learn from her. I think that's great in this phase of my career. And I think it'll help me help me be a better teammate, a better player and learn a lot about the game to be able to contribute to the Merc. So how was that workout? It was great. I mean, do? it's intense. Yeah, it's intense. And that's that's I love it. I mean, I, I say it, iron sharpens iron. Mm -hmm. You know, she's cut from a, a different cloth. And I feel like, you know, I'm cut from that cloth as well, as, as far as being a competitor. 
and wanting to win and, and having that drive and dedication to put the work in. So, I mean, we, we, we got it in yesterday. We're going to do the same thing today and the same thing tomorrow. So I just like her, her mentality. You know, she, she's focused and, and, and no wasted movement. You know, right. everything is for a reason. And so it was productive and, and it raises the level of intensity, competition. You know, it was intense. So I'm looking forward to that style every day and just pushing each other, making each other better and, um, you know, being able to learn. You said that Diana, when she talked to you, she said, act like you've been here before. Yeah. She's like, what don't come that? in. Yeah. No, she was like, you know, when you come in, act like you've been here before. Yeah. You know, don't feel like you uh, have to, to be like anybody or be anybody else. We brought you here to be Sky. Mm -hmm. And so that was refreshing to hear. You know, she's like, we want you to be aggressive. We want you, to, this is how you're going to play. And so, you know, it's awesome when you have uh, your teammates, you know, breathing uh, confidence and, and they have a confidence about you, how they feel right. about you and your abilities. So um, it's awesome, you know, like having those little antidotes now. And I look forward to, to having that every single day. Yeah, that support is huge from your teammates and especially somebody like BT. I mm. mean, like that's got to feel so good. And then you were at the game on Sunday, the Phoenix Suns game, and Devin Booker welcomed you to the Valley. Devin has been a fan of yours since at least 2012. So having that support of the NBA side of the family, what does that mean to you? I mean, they're allies, right? Mm -hmm. They're allies. They have a huge platform that they're afforded, um, a huge privilege to, to, to have that platform. So him using it to speak out and be an ally for, for women, women in sports, um, I think that's awesome. And, and he gets it. He, he's the one that gets right. it. And so, and, and, and along with other members, DeAndre Aiden, his shoes for International Women's Day. Yeah, I love Puma. those shoes. He had my name as well as Brittany Griner's name and DT. Mm -hmm. So he had them on his shoes. So, I mean, that's awesome, you know, and that's love and support. Um, you know, you, you can't teach that. You either get it or you don't. Right. So I think it's awesome that, you know, the Sun ha and the Mercury have surrounded themselves with people and players um, who, who are allies to women, who are champions for women and um, continue to join us in the fight for right, equality exactly. and not afraid to speak up on that. So I think that's awesome how they're using their platform and, um, you know, likewise with us going to support them. It's important. All right, Sky, we're going to wrap this one up with some rapid fire. Oh, you boy. ready for this? I think so. Okay. Are you a morning or a night person? Morning. Instagram or Twitter? Insta. <laughs> Tell me one thing that's on your bucket list. Oh, uh, man. I don't know. Uh, Anywhere you want to travel? Um, of course, you ask me now, and I'm like, <laughs> the pressure. Um, come back to that one. OK. Uh, what compliment do you get the most? Maybe something about my shape, because uh, I always exercise. Always so, in good yes. shape, yep. If you could buy any type of food right now, what would you buy? Like cuisine? Mm -hmm. Oh, Mediterranean. Oh, yum. What store do you shop at the most? Oh, man, I'm an online shopper. I like Zappos. I like the Outnet. I like, uh, just drawing a blank. I don't really go to shop to shop. <laughs> it's all online. Yes, it's all online. Yeah. So you got to have a good return mm -hmm. policy, too, just in mm -hmm. case. Okay, what fashion trends are you just not on board with? The um, people doing the colorful lashes. Oh, okay. That's not me. Not no, into that no, one. You saw, you saw those? Like the colorful lashes? Yeah. Not, not I mean, it takes, it takes a certain person to be able to pull them off, pull that though. Off, yeah, I was going to sure. say. I'm not and one they do. either. I don't think I'm that one. <laughs> Best pump up song to listen to when you're in the gym? Nuck If You Buck. <laughs> All right. What? By Crime that Mob. That's so old that's, school. I love that. That's lit, the litest song ever. <laughs> All right. What is um, one item you could never live without? <sighs> Man. One item, probably my cell phone. I mean, I know, nowadays, same. I hate to say it. But it's true. Yeah. Sweet or salty? Sweet. Favorite TV show? Oh, my goodness. Favorite TV show? You could do a movie, too. Oh, movies. I love movies. Okay. I love that. That's probably my biggest quirk is, like, quoting movie lines and song lyrics, okay. like, randomly. <clears throat> favorite movie quote? But Martin is my favorite show. Okay. Martin. Yeah, Martin is my favorite. And even, the, 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 like, sorry, I lied to you, Martin. I just didn't want to go to Arizona. <laughs> like, I thought about that when I was coming here. I thought that was hilarious. But um, I love Martin. I love Martin, and then I love Chris Tucker. So Rush Hour is, like, my favorite That's movies. That's a solid Like, movie series too. of Rush Hour, Friday, um, all about the Benjamins. Like, I'm, I'm a little... Showing my age now, guys. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I love, I love. It's Martin. great because I actually know yes, where all these see movies me. are. You see me. You see me. <laughs> I feel heard. All right. So back to one thing that's on your bucket list. Oh my gosh. Okay. I definitely love to travel. I'm trying to think of a place that we wanted to travel. So I'm open to 
actually, I probably shouldn't even say this, but we haven't even taken our honeymoon yet. Really? Yes, because I got married during like the season, mm -hmm. so I had to go right back into the games. And then I got pregnant, and then I had the baby. Right. So we're trying to figure out good honeymoon spots. So if you got some, if y'all got some suggestions, hit me up and let me know. Yes, absolutely. All right, Sky. The last thing I got for you is, who do you admire most? My mom. I admire my mom the most. You know, she's just awesome. She's dope. She's my rock. My biggest support system. She's here with me on the trip as well, helping with my son and. Um, you know, it's just great to have a support system. And so she and my husband are definitely the lead of that support system. So Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. We yes. enjoyed getting to know you a Thanks, little bit Kozo. more. We're, <laughs> we're so excited for Merck season to start. So make sure you guys keep it locked right here on all our social media channels. We'll see you next time. Parents, if your children are victims of bullying and you're asking yourself, what can you do to help? Here's a few tips for you. One, keep the lines of communication open. Listen to your children, know their friends, ask about school, and understand their concerns. Now for more tips on how to talk to your kids about bullying, head to muststopbullying.org.